You know what day it is. Hey, welcome back to another 3 Minute Thursday. Today I'm gonna to show you how to take an image, look at the features in the image, put it into a special tool on the internet, and figure out where that image was taken. It's called Bellingcat's OpenStreetMap. It's free to use. Here it is. So this is what you get when you come to osm-search.bellingcat.com. I'll put the link in the description, obviously. There is a little bit of help here at the top, and you can email Logan over at Bellingcat if you have any issues, but it's pretty straightforward. I have an image here. It's called rome.jpg, and in this image we can see a number of things. We see a large square where people might gather. I see an obelisk and probably a fountain, I would guess, at the bottom of that obelisk. And there's also a fountain over here too on the left-hand side. I see some restaurants on the left and on the right. And I guess this thing here could be a church maybe, but I'm not sure about that. I can't guarantee it. Also, the buildings are one, two, three, four, five stories high. So let's flick back here and we get to choose a few things. Now, these are just some presets to get you going. For example, fountain. There is a fountain in that picture. In fact, there's two. So we're gonna add that. But if you don't see what you like, what you can do is you can come and add a custom feature and it's really powerful. You can even choose things like leaf cycle. Check this out. If I come in here, you can scroll down the list, but you can also just type in leaf, type leaf cycle. And then if you look at the values for it, you can say is equal to or is not equal to. And then you get deciduous, evergreen, mixed. It's incredible. And if you click on these little buttons here, it'll bring you over to a help feature that tells you about leaf cycle and how it actually works. Help is always at hand. Just click those little buttons where you see them to pop out into that new window. We've got our fountain. We've got our restaurant. We don't have our location, but I'm just going to type in Rome and I'm also going to zoom in a little bit because it does say Rome.jpg. I'm guessing this picture was taken by a tourist on holidays and we're just trying to figure out where it is. The next thing we need to do is set the distance between the features. And if we look back here, some of these things are inside other things. For example, the fountain is in the square and the restaurant is on the square. But the restaurant is within, I don't know, 30 meters of the fountain. I'm just looking at this person, you know, how long it might take them to walk that distance. Let's call it 30 meters. So we're gonna drag this back to 30 meters. And then we will hit search. This is where it can take a little bit of time. If you're trying to search the whole world, this could take forever probably. But if you're searching a smallish area like Rome, it's not a big place. It might just take 10 seconds. And there we go, 23 results in just under 10 seconds. And if we look down at the results, you can see you get the OpenStreetMap preview with some coordinates. You can also click Google Terrain and Satellite as well. And what we can do is we can just click on the coordinates and it'll bring up Google Maps. Here we go. And then you're into manual confirmation land. You have to manually go through and confirm that this image was taken in this place. I know what you're thinking, we could absolutely do Google reverse image search, but that won't always work. And OpenStreetMaps data is extensive, so it's incredibly useful to have this tool in your tool belt. I hope that was useful. Stick it in your bookmarks, and I'll see you in the next video.